what's going on guys back at the hospital again John was actually kept longer because he couldn't keep his food down they were giving him breakfast and he kept throwing it up so they kept him longer for observation but I'm gonna come hang out with them and then I might be able to take him home when I'm done hanging out in like a couple hours or so I am still exhausted today my last night my sleep wasn't very restful and then I got home at 6 a.m. and I was woken up by a lawnmower someone was mowing their lawn at 8 a.m. and I was screaming like a crazy person in my bedroom I'm like ah, who mows their lawn at 8 a.m. that's so rude and I was like kind of crying pregnancy hormones hopefully John's still feeling better I talked to him on the phone like an hour ago and he said he was starting to he's sleeping I guess he's still waiting to meet with the doctor before he can be discharged my poor baby he looks like a little angel. How are you feeling now? Good. Yeah, better? out of it. Still? Yeah. Well, like, like you feel high from the pain medicine or just Percocet. out of it? Oh, okay. What did they say about Percocet? Mm-mm. It'll mess you up. Does it? <laughs> That's good. I'm glad you're not in pain, though. Well, I mean, it hurts like shit as soon as it stops working. Yeah. At least they'll give you some stuff to take home and mm -hmm. you'll be fine. Yeah, the nurse came in here and woke John up. She took his blood pressure and his temperature yeah, and all that fancy right. stuff. So John has this no blood hospital bracelet. And I guess it's because he accidentally checked something wrong when he was in the ER because he didn't know what it meant on the form. And now like everyone keeps asking him, oh, no blood? How come no blood? And John keeps saying like, if I'm going to die, I want blood. You guys better give me blood. I didn't know what it means. I didn't mean to do this. But I guess some religions are against blood transfusions, so you can check that you don't want one. Was it Jehovah's Witnesses that don't allow them? I just them? for like the first time in two days. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> farting is really good when you recover from surgery. You're supposed to fart. Farting is a good sign. So fart away. Okay. All right, yay. Oh. So I'm out of the hospital. Nick is driving me home. And I actually kind of came out to like a cool little package. So this is my Scotty D TV t-shirt, coolest cars on the web. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Scotty D TV, but I've mentioned him a few times. Um, over the last probably month or two months, I've gotten to know Scotty pretty well. Um, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. You guys know how much I love classic cars and hot rods and just cars in general. And Scotty actually has a channel where he just goes around and chases hot rods and finds really, really cool cars to film and uploads them um, for people. And they are some of the coolest cars that I've ever seen. Um, so he sent me a couple shirts, which is really cool. He also is giving me a shirt to give away to you guys. Thanks for sending us these t-shirts, Scotty. I really appreciate it. And I'm probably going to get home from the hospital and kind of wear it as like a comfort t-shirt around the house because I'm not feeling very good right now. Scotty DTV. Coolest cars on the web. Yep. All right, so I'm sitting at home here wearing my Scotty DTV shirt, and I'll tell you what, it, this is it makes my day. Like after just coming out of like surgery, and like coming home to this cool T-shirt that somebody sent me is just man, it's so cool. So thanks, Scotty. And make sure you guys check out Scotty DTV, coolest cars on the web. Uh, there's a link right here in the annotation and in the description. And if you want to win a free shirt, a free Scotty DTV shirt like I got on, any color, any size, all you have to do is comment on this video and click on this link right here. That'll automatically subscribe you to Scotty's channel. And just click right here. And then in 10 days, Nikki and I will pick a winner. We'll announce the winner in a vlog and we'll also directly message you on YouTube in your YouTube inbox and we'll get your name, your full address, and all that jazz and the size and color shirt you want and then we'll, uh, we'll send it out to you guys. But please check out Scotty. I mean, it's not very often, you know, you have much less your appendix taken out, but it's not very often like something this little just makes my day. And thanks a lot, Scotty. You know, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the videos that you make. People often ask me, you know, who are my favorite YouTubers? How do I find YouTubers that I like? And it simply comes down to, you know, I watch a lot of random videos and there's people that I connect with, like a lot of you have connected with me through video. And Scotty's one of those guys that I sit down and I watch and I could just 
I know I could sit there all day and listen to him talk about cars. I could hang out with him, you know, and, and just shoot the bull and have a great conversation with him. And he's an awesome guy. So please check out his channel because I was fortunate enough to find him. And if you guys really like hot rods, you're really going to like Scotty. So I just got out of the shower and they shaved me. I didn't realize until I was taking a shower and I was soaping off my body. They completely shaved all of my stomach hair and that little trail of hair they call the trail hair trail thing and it's, it's gone. I worked so hard to get that. It took me like almost 30 years to grow that thing out and they just gone. Alright, so I am home. He's home! Yeah, and my mom was actually in Phoenix working, and she decided to drive over from Phoenix um, to Los Angeles. The light's off in there, but she's actually making me some homemade chicken and dumplings, which is my favorite food ever growing up, and I'm really, really excited and really happy that she's here. Yeah, that was so nice of Ruth to come out and help take care of John while he was recovering. Oh my gosh, the dogs just went nuts when she walked in here earlier. Oh my gosh, I, I bet it was just such a surprise to Kenobi and Thor and Lola, but Kenobi and Thor spend the most time with Ruth when we're back in Minnesota. They stay at John's mom's house and she just spoils them the whole time she's, uh, the whole time they're there. But as soon as she walked in, the dogs were just like screaming with excitement. I wish I got it on camera, but I didn't. We were all kind of like tired earlier today. Kenobi was like, ah! never heard Kenobi squeak like that. He doesn't even do that for me. He loves John's mom. Of course the dogs are gonna watch Ruth cook in the kitchen. <laughs> He's like, oh, what, what you making? Is there anything for me? <laughs> you feeling better though? No. I have to nap? No. I wanted to hear a big old yes. I just had my appendix taken out. I know. But I got you your pain medicine. Yeah, I think I threw it up. Mm, that's no good. Yeah. I'm sorry. I need to get some like actual food in my stomach. This is why they love you so much. You sneak them people food. <laughs> oh, Thor Kenobi. John got prescribed Norco for his pain. That's the good stuff. So it just knocked him out. He was asleep for a few hours. All right, guys. Well, it's been a long and frustrating day for me. It's really, really nice to be home. Um, I took my painkillers. They're kind of kicking in. But I'm going to go to bed, and I'm really happy that my mom is here to make me some like home, home cooking that I had growing up. It was really delicious. Um, and I'm, I don't know. I'll start to feel better. Luckily in this whole thing, I kind of forgot about how bad my ankle hurt because my stomach hurt so bad. So I guess I got that going for me. Just try to look at the positive, but I guess now they both kind of hurt a little bit because now I'm sore from the surgery, but I'll get over it. So thanks for watching guys. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, favorite this video. We'd really appreciate that. And we'll see you tomorrow with more vlog.